Outstanding People of Kazakhstan Aim, consider the outstanding personalities of Kazakhstan. Nursultan Abishuli Nazarbayev is the president of Kazakhstan. He has been the country's leader since 1989, when he was named first secretary of the Communist Party of the Kazakh SSR, and was elected the nation's first president following its independence from the Soviet Union in December 1991. He holds the title leader of the nation. In April 2015, Nazarbayev was re-elected with almost 98% of the vote. Nazarbayev was born in Kimolgan, a rural town near Almaty, when Kazakhstan was one of the republics of the Soviet Union. His father was a poor laborer who worked for a wealthy local family until Soviet rule confiscated the family's farmland in the 1930s during Joseph Stalin's collectivization policy. Following this, his father took the family to the mountains to live out a nomadic existence. His father avoided compulsory military service due to a withered arm he sustained when putting out a fire. At the end of World War II the family returned to the village of Kimolgan, and Nazarbayev began to learn the Russian language. He performed well at school, and was sent to a boarding school in Kaskaleng. After leaving school he took up a one-year, government-funded scholarship at the Karaganda Steel Mill in Temitau. He also spent time training at a steel plant in Dnipropetrovsk, and therefore was away from Temitau when riots broke out there over working conditions. By 20, he was earning a relatively good wage doing incredibly heavy and dangerous work in the blast furnace. He joined the Communist Party in 1962, becoming a prominent member of the Young Communist League, and full time worker for the party, and attended the Karagandhi Polytechnic Institute. He was appointed secretary of the Communist Party Committee of the Karaganda Metallurgical Combinat in 1972 and four years later became second secretary of the Karaganda Regional Party Committee. In his role as a bureaucrat, Nazarbayev dealt with legal papers, logistical problems and industrial disputes, as well as meeting workers to solve individual issues. He later wrote that the central allocation of capital investment arid the distribution of funds meant that infrastructure was poor, workers were demoralized and overworked, and centrally set targets were unrealistic, he saw the steel plant's problems as a microcosm for the problems for the Soviet Union as a whole. President Nazarbayev suggested in 2014 that Kazakhstan should change its name to Kazakh Yeli, country of the Cossacks, for the country to attract better and more foreign investment, since Kazakhstan by its name is associated with other Stan countries. Nazarbayev noted Mongolia receives more investment than Kazakhstan because it is not a stand country, even though it is in the same neighborhood, and not as stable as Kazakhstan. However, he is letting the people decide on whether the country should change its name. The role of Nazarbayev and his political reforms was acknowledged by Daniel Witt, vice chairman of the Eurasia Foundation. He noted, Nazarbayev has led Kazakhstan through difficult times and into an era of prosperity and growth. He has demonstrated that he values his U.S. and Western alliances and is committed to achieving democratic governance. In December 2012, President Nazarbayev outlined a forward-looking national strategy called the Kazakhstan 2050 Strategy. President Nazarbayev always emphasized the role of education in the nation's social development. In order to make education affordable, he introduced Educational Grant Orkin for the Talented Youth of Kazakhstan. Abi Ibrahim Kunanbeyli was a Kazakh poet, composer and philosopher. He was also a cultural reformer toward European and Russian cultures on the basis of enlightened Islam. Early Life and Education Abi was born in what is today the Selo of Karafal, in Abi district, East Kazakhstan province, the son of Kunanbe and Alian, Kunanbe's second wife, they named him Ibrahim, but because of his brightness, he soon was given the nickname Abi, meaning careful, a name that stuck for the rest of his life. 
His father's economic status enabled the boy to attend a Russian school in his youth, but only after he had already spent some years studying at a madrasa under Mullah Ahmet Reiser. At his school in Semipalatinsk, Abby encountered the writings of Mikhail Lermontov and Alexander Pushkin. Abby's main contribution to Kazakh culture and folklore lies in his poetry, which expresses great nationalism and grew out of Kazakh folk culture. Before him, most Kazakh poetry was oral, echoing the nomadic habits of the people of the Kazakh steppes. During Abby's lifetime, however, a number of important socio-political and socio-economic changes occurred. Russian influence continued to grow in Kazakhstan, resulting in greater educational possibilities as well as exposure to a number of different philosophies, whether Russian, Western or Asian. Abi Kunan Bayulai steeped himself in the cultural and philosophical history of these newly opened geographies. In this sense, Abi's creative poetry affected the philosophical thinking of educated Cossacks. Legacy The leaders of the Alash Order movement saw him as their inspiration and spiritual predecessor. Contemporary Kazakh images of Abi generally depict him in full traditional dress holding a dombra, the Kazakh national instrument. Today, Cossacks revere Abi as one of the first folk heroes to enter into the national consciousness of his people. Almaty State University is named after Abi, so is one of the main avenues in the city of Almaty. There are also public schools with his name. The Kazakh city of Abbey is named after him. Among Abbey's students was his nephew, a historian, philosopher, and poet Shakerim Kwadebadiulai, 1858-1931. Statues of him have been erected in many cities of Kazakhstan, as well as in Moscow. A film on the life of Abbey was made by Kazakh Film in 1995, titled Obai. He is also the subject of two novels and an opera by Mukhtar Awazov, another Kazakhstani writer. Another film describing his father's life was made in December 2015, titled Konanbai. Works Abi also translated into Kazakh the works of Russian and European authors, mostly for the first time. Translations made by him include poems by Mikhail Lermontov, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, Lord Byron, Ivan Krilov's Fables and Alexander Pushkin's Eugene Onegin. Abbey's major work is the Book of Words, Kazakh, Kara Suzderi, a philosophic treatise and collection of poems where he encourages his fellow Cossacks to embrace education, literacy, and good moral character in order to escape poverty, enslavement and commiption. In Word 25, he discusses the importance of Russian culture, as a way for Cossacks to be exposed to the world's cultural treasures. Gennady Genadayevich Golovkin, born 8 April 1982, is a Kazakhstani professional boxer who currently holds the unified WBA, Super, WBC, IBF, and EBO middleweight titles. As of July 2016, he is ranked as the world's number one middleweight by The Ring magazine and Box Rec. He is also ranked as the world's third best boxer, pound for pound, by The Ring and Box Rec. Golovkin won his first major world championship, the WBA interim middleweight title, by defeating Milton Neufles in 2010. He was elevated to WBA, regular, champion in the same year, and in 2011 would win the vacant Evo middleweight title by defeating Lawan Simon. In 2014, Golovkin was elevated to his current status of WBA, super, champion and successfully defended both his titles against Daniel Giel. Later that year he defeated Marco Antonio Rubio to add the WBC interim middleweight title to his collection, and defeated David Lemieux in 2015 to win the IBF middleweight title. After Canelo Alvarez vacated his WBC middleweight title in 2016, Golovkin was elevated to full champion, and now holds world titles by three of the four major boxing sanctioning bodies. Tokhtar Omgaba Yuli Orbe Kirov, born on 27 July 1946, is a first Kazakh cosmonaut, 
and now is a retired Kazakh Air Force officer. Early Life Toktar Orbe Kirov was born in Karkarali District, Karaganda Region, Kazakh SSR, which is now Kazakhstan. After graduating from the eighth grade of a secondary school he started working as a metal turner at the Temitau foundry, whilst attending an evening school. In 1965 he joined the Armavir Military Aviation Institute of the Anti-Air Defense Pilots. He served as a fighter pilot in the Soviet Air Force on the far east borders of the USSR until his acceptance into the M. Gromov Test Pilot School in 1975. Between 1976 and 1991 he served as a test pilot at the Mikoyan Experimental Design Bureau, MiG Aircraft. During this time he tested over 50 types of aircraft. The first in the Soviet Union to make a non-stop flight crossing the North Pole and with two in-flight refueling, the first in the Soviet Union who took off of the aircraft carrier Tbilisi on a MiG-29K. Spaceflight experience. In 1991, in accordance with an agreement between the governments of the USSR and the Kazakh SSR, started train at the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center. On 2 October 1991 he launched with Russian cosmonaut Alexander Volkov as flight commander, and the Austrian research cosmonaut Franz Weibock in Soyuz TM-13 from the Baikonur Cosmodrome spaceport, and spent over eight days in space. Career. Since 1993, he has been the general director of the National Aerospace Agency of Republic of Kazakhstan. He was a member of the Kazakhstan Parliament. Now he is a pensioner and consultant. Family. Toktar Orbekirov is married to Tatyana Orbekirova. They have two children, Tima, born in 1977, and Mikhail, born in 1982. Internet magazine Vlast made a rating of top 10 Kazakhstan-born famous people who achieved success and acknowledgement outside Kazakhstan. They work in different areas, some of them no longer hold Kazakhstan citizenship, but they are always closely linked to Kazakhstan, the magazine writes. 1. Marabusin Gorliev, a famous violin player. He is 50. Born in Almaty. He currently lives most of the time in Great Britain and India. He is the citizen of Kazakhstan, even though he has been living in Great Britain for over 20 years. He is an honored artist of Kazakhstan, a professor of Birmingham Conservatory and one of directors of the Alliance of Asia-Pacific Region Orchestras, APRO. 2. Marashilan Bayev, a marathon runner from Ikebastus. He was the first person to cross Sahara north to south. Shilan Bayev has set seven records of the Guinness Book. In 150 years of Around the World magazine Mara Shilan Bayev became the first Kazakhstan citizens mentioned in the magazine. He is 48. 3. Alan Berry Bayev, 33, a bandmaster. He is famous around the world. He is also a musical director of Ireland's National Symphonic Orchestra. Alan Berrybayev works with many European orchestras, including the orchestras of Holland and Germany. 4. Ruslan Orshev, former president of Ingushetia. He is a famous political and public person. He was born in Volodersky village of Kukshetau Oblast, Kazakhstan. He has been chairman of the Peacekeeping Soldiers Commission of the Councils of the Heads of CIS Governments since 1991. He is 57. 5. Oleg Yankovsky, a people's artist of the USSR. He was born in Shikaskan. Later his family moved to Saratov, where the famous actor started his professional career. He was awarded with two orders of merit for the motherland of second and third degrees. Oleg Yankovsky died of a heart disease three years ago. 6. Hamilya Steklikova, the first Kazakh minister in Europe and the first non-Czech former minister of Czech Republic. Tshamilya Steklikova, 50, is a granddaughter of Education Minister of Kazakh Republic Abdykomit Sembayev. Born in Almaty, 
she lived in Moscow for a long time and then moved to Czech Republic. She has two children.